Welcome to Quail's Knitting Nest. My name is Joy. Hi, and I'm Janet. We're so glad to have you back, Janet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to be back. <laughs> so, uh, did you get your knitting mojo back? Or... Yes, I did. You did? I actually did. All right. I didn't knit for one month. It was terrible. It was just terrible. <laughs> but I got it back, and what got it got me back on track was Rhinebeck. That was the motivation. For, oh yeah, trying to get my Rhinebeck sweater. Oh okay. Complete it. So it's gonna. So be, that got me going. Gonna be done. Which by I'll the, show later. Yeah. Definitely. Good. It's gonna be finished today. Good. <laughs> and block tomorrow and warm well, on Thursday. Yeah, right. And Friday. Rhinebeck is this coming weekend, but this probably yes. won't go up until yes. Maybe this weekend. So right. So by then, <clears throat> it'll be finished, and you can wear it. Be at my and it looks like the weather's gonna be cooler. It is. Sweater weather. Yeah. For the first time in a, a couple of years. years. Yes. Yeah. So what are you wearing today? Okay. I'm wearing one of my favorite all-time sweaters. It's called a Soundtrack, and it's by Marie Green. Um, the yarn is Liberty Wool by Classic Elite in the solid ivory, and then this is a variegated ball of yarn that just did this color work, which I really really like my yeah. color my colors the blues and the greens yeah it was a knit along that uh, Marie Green was doing in July this is from July 2020 two years in a row they did Marie Green sweaters for knit alongs in July mm -hmm. start at the 4th of July it's an interesting time of year mm -hmm. to do a sweater knit along it was like a sweater in a weekend or something like that oh. but it didn't take a weekend but anyway <laughs> this is one of my favorite sweaters it's um Wool and acrylic, some acrylic, and it doesn't pill. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's just very, it's held up It's nicely. just a very comfortable sweater. I don't feel overheated in it like I do with some of the woolier wool sweaters that I have. Yeah, this, is it real worsted? It looks like worsted. It's worsted. It's worsted, right? Yeah, yeah. you rarely wear worsted. Yeah. And the yarn is, a li like I said, Liberty Wool by Classic Elite, which unfortunately went out of business quite a few years ago. It was one of my favorite yarn companies, and they always had great patterns too. I have a couple of their pattern books, their collections. And they used to give out a free pattern every week with their newsletter. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And what are you wearing? Yeah. Well, this is My Zwei by Caitlin Hunter. And I talked about it a mm -hmm. lot in episode four, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to say much about it other than it's, um, yeah, My Zwei, which I love. Mm -hmm. Mine is one of my favorite sweaters too. I wear all the time. No, and I just got a new t-shirt to wear underneath of it to highlight the lace work in the, mm. in the top so that it pops, right? Oh, yeah. Against the dark color. It, yeah, it does. Good. Don't mind it today, was it? Yeah. Anyway. So, so do else? you have something finished you want to show? Mm. The only thing I really have finished is a pair of socks. And it's unknown indie dyer yarn. But I'll show it. It's just plain stock in it. It's hard to see. I do have a two by two rib on the top cuff, but the rest of it is just plain stock in it. Joy's basic pattern that I use that I know by heart. I love knitting socks without having to look at a pattern. This is a beautiful color. I, oh, I it's really so like soft. This color I just too. love it. The yarn is is wonderful. It's really soft. It almost feels like it could be Madeline Tosh. I don't think it is though. No. no. It was just some indie dyer. When I go to these yarn festivals, as I'm walking by, a certain color will pop out at me, and then I have to buy it. <laughs> so I have all these singles for socks. Well, I also finished a pair of socks. These are my blue shades of Sakata. Mm -hmm. So I have one on a blocker, and then I have my other one just here. So same, same pattern, and I've already worn them a couple times, once or twice. Now it's gotten colder, so I'm wearing my wool socks again. But I'm sure we'll get an Indian summer coming up. And Really? Do you think? Uh, mm, I don't know. We we almost always do. Yeah. It's October 10th today yeah. that we're filming, and I don't... I hope not. <laughs> I'm, I'm finished. <laughs> with the You're heat. finished with summer. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I changed my clothes over, so I can't. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Put all my t-shirts away and all that. They're gone. And then uh, last time I mentioned this polarity shawl mm -hmm. that I was working on, and I did finish it. So 
this is it's called polarity and it's by Elena Nodal I love this I think this is so pretty I'm gonna make one of these and put the pico on it I too. added the pico yeah. edging along this side that was not in the pattern That's and pretty. then this kind Very of sawtooth edging on this side is part of the pattern mm-hmm I like and that. then this is what it looks like on the back. Mm -hmm. So really it's pretty. it's more yellowy on the back, and then more multi fall color on the front. And I think it works really kind of reversibly. No, definitely. So that you, you don't have an obvious like, oh, she's got the wrong side facing out. Right. That looks no. I just love. Very it. nice. I love how these colors came together. Very good yarn selection. Well, the multi ball was from you. Right, but you matched up very well with your stash. <laughs> so, yeah. Very the, nice. the yellow that I used from my stash was Distal Fink Farm Yarn Fingering Weight mm -hmm. in the color Goldenrod. And really then, of pretty. course, the multi, I have no idea what it was. But the perfect fall. Yes. Fall. I love yes. that. That's what I used to do every year. I have, I had to knit something in fall colors when it was turning fall. I haven't done that in a while. I should. That looks really pretty. It's big and it's it's perfect for like a crisp mm -hmm. fall day. That's pretty. Yeah. I love it. So, but it's too hot for in here. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago we went to the Lehigh Valley Fiber Festival. Mm -hmm. And in Makanji PA. Yes. And it turned out to be quite a nice it was, festival. Yeah, it was a beautiful day, too. Mm -hmm. It was 70 degrees and sunny. It was gorgeous walking around there. They had a lot of nice vendors. Mm -hmm. It wasn't we, all just fiber. There was no. a whole mix of artisans there. Yeah, that's for sure. We did very well. <laughs> we did very well. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, yeah, actually, we only bought... It was funny cause, because... We walked around for maybe two hours buying all little things that were, I'll, I'll show some of them that I bought. And at the end we were saying, we didn't buy any yarn. <laughs> Which is As definitely not like out. us. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not to say that there wasn't a lot of nice yarn because it was. It was really, it was nice. It was just, I don't know, for some reason, maybe it's because it's the first time I went to an, a festival like that in a while that had such a variety of items. Mm hmm so, for example, the first things that we bought were Christmas cards. Yeah. And this, this, these are hand-painted designs by Diane Fallon, P-H-A-L-E-N. And she has the website under her name. And you can see they're all quilts hanging on a fence by a barn with snow. I just think it's such a pretty scene. And all of her cards are different quilt different scenes. quilt scenes and yes. she has and she also sells quilt runners and diff anything to do with anything quilted but um so this is called holiday airing so she's airing out the quilts this is they're so pretty they're just so pretty i got so some we each got too, some I, I didn't yeah bring that's them. okay well you got the same ones i did so did no you? it was a different pattern did you get a different it had one? a poinsettia on it next oh. to the quilt oh okay yeah. i just i like this Hmm, it's just really pretty. Um, what else? Oh, and then I really was taken with this stand. Yeah, me too. It was just, I guess this is clay. Unfortunately, we don't remember the name of the maker. But this is a sheep. And I just love the lace design on part of it. So that's... I really could have gotten. I really kind of did. Oh, that's a pine crazy. On the front of that one. It's a. I think it's a pine cone. Oh, pine cone. Yes. With the branch, okay. with the tree. Gotcha. And an acorn. Piece. A pine cone cone yeah. and an acorn. Okay. And then here's a Christmas ornament one. Reindeer. I got one of the reindeer. I also. really like that lace design that she puts on part of the. And this is the last one, which I think is beautiful. Oh, I do have another one. I didn't bring it. And this is my alpaca, which I think is beautiful with the pink heart. Yeah, it's cute. I love that. So we have that. I got a, a reindeer like Janet's, and then I also got a hummingbird. Oh, yeah, the hummingbird. Yeah. That's right, because that's a gift. 
Mm -hmm. um, what else? Oh, and this is my yarn. I think there was something else I'm forgetting, but we did pretty well. We anyway. did very well. <laughs> so this was the last stand, and I this just really caught my eye. Sheepy Shire is the name of it. We don't know where it's from. Hand dyed happiness. But the website is www.thesheepyshire.com. And so this is Hello Fall is the name of it. Name of the color. That was that the, was her special show color. It was well for the whole month of was September. It? it was like a I think it was like a month-long colorway or something. Oh, was it? Or maybe even a season-long. I forget. I, th I think I it know, was in a special section. Yeah, I don't think it was show-specific, but I think it was like maybe 30 days oh, or okay. something. Um, so this one, of course, is mohair and lace weight. Kid mohair and silk, 459 yards. And it is dyed to go with the Super Squishy Sport. And this is 325 yards, 100 grams, 100% 100 superwash merino. It was funny, too, because they had two seasonal colorways, right? Do you yes, this? yes, yes. So there's the woman, and then there's her, I assume, husband. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they're both yarn dyers, and he did one of the colorways, and she did the other colorway. And they were keeping track mm -hmm. to see who sold the most yarn in their colorway. And this was her colorway, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. But his wasn't it like a green was it a lime green like a, some kind of green some kind of a green with like charcoal gray or something? Yeah. yeah. That wasn't too folly for me. I wanted something fallish. But so, I thought that was hysterical. Yeah, they were, they were, they were competing good. with their colorways. That was one of the busiest stands too. Yes. Well, she had a lot of yarn. Nice selection. Yes. And then they had a big sale a selection sale wall. too. Yeah. Yeah, it spread mm -hmm. out nicely in the park, mm -hmm. the Mukunji Park. A nice location really yeah. pretty there's some indoor some outdoor and the mm -hmm. next day on sunday they ended up having to close early oh, because yes. a big thunderstorm rolled right. through it was open an hour or so right yeah one of our Not friends went there she did mm -hmm. she did very well for one hour <laughs> for only being there an hour <laughs> and and let's hear let's see your yard I, yeah so we're on our way out and this was literally i had no yarn in my bag <laughs> no. and i'm like well, it was I right have, after I, I got that. Couple, <laughs> I have a couple a couple bucks left and there was one yarn that I had seen or one actually one stand I had seen that I wanted to go back to and these people were hand dyeing and hand spinning all of their own yarn. So it was like one off skeins and very limited quantities. So I went over to the stand and I hummed and I hauled and I it took me a while to decide. But a lot of them were heavier, like worsted or even iron weight. So I ended up going with the fingering because I feel like, it, for me, it's more usable weight. Mm -hmm. And so this is called Drop Spindled by Jennifer Bauer. So the, the, rove, or the roving, I think, they hand dyed, and then she took that and spun it on the drop spindle, and then she plied it on the drop spindle, and she entered it into their local fair and got a blue ribbon for it. And she's selling it. And I, I walked over to her and I said, are you selling this prize-winning yarn? <laughs> and she says, oh, yeah, I have a ton of it at home. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought this beautiful, this is also more fall colors. Yeah. yeah that reminds me of Spin Cycle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It has that has same two-tone. Yeah. Mm -hmm, two mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really pretty. I, I really like it. So I can't wait to I see. Got. I hope you're going to put it in a yoke or something. You mentioned that. Yeah, the sweater. Maybe. I think mm -hmm. that would be gorgeous in the yoke of a sweater. Yeah. So we'll see. Time will tell what happens. With it's that. really pretty. There is another yarn festival coming up, besides Rhinebeck, of course, which is October fifteenth and sixteenth. Um, this is a local one. It's the Leesport at the Leesport Farmers Market in Leesport, Pennsylvania. It's called the Pennsylvania Fall Fiber Arts Festival. I just wanted to mention it quickly. I picked up this card in McCunji. If anyone is interested, it's a much, well, I would say it's a smaller event than the one that in Makanji. No? No. This is indoors. Yeah. It's all indoors. And it's mostly, if not all, 
fiber related, whereas that's makonji true. is a, a mix variety of crafts. of crafts. That's true. That's true. So there's a lot more fiber, and this is also put on by the gala. I forget what it stands for. Oh yeah, here it is. Greater Appalachian Llama and Alpaca Association. So a lot of the like at least 50% of the vendors there are alpaca or llama, selling alpaca or right, llama. Right, right. So there's not so as much. It's much different, mm -hmm. yeah. It's November 19th and 20th, Saturday and Sunday. And it is on, the information is on the internet. And I went last year, but I don't think either of us are going this year. No, we're not. So question for you, are you going to a fiber event this fall? Let us know down in the comments. So we just went to Mukunji. You're going to Rhinebeck. Mm -hmm. And I just came back from Knitter's Day Out. So we want to know, where Rhinebeck. have you been? We missed New Jersey Sheep and we Fiber this year. We did miss year. New Jersey Sheep That's and one of fiber. my favorites. We both wanted to go, but yeah, I we was just out of had town and, conflicts. Yeah. yeah. So at Knitter's Day Out, they had a smaller market this year. But there was still some nice yarn there. And... I went and got something called, from a company called the Fiberarium. I never heard of them. That's somebody new. She, I, she's new. She's a younger person, and she's hand dyeing yarns. She had mostly superwash merino, but then she had a table of what I would call regular wool. And then she also had some, this is lace silk blend. And these are both mm. in the pond colorway. That is gorgeous. So this is called Word Lace. It's lace weight. And this is fingering weight, 100% wool. It says, soft and bouncy, hand dyed in small batches. Hmm, 56 grams. That's unusual. 56 grams, 250 yards. So mm, she must nice do though. it by the it's yard. Really nice. She must wind it up by the yard and then just measure, and then just weigh mm -hmm. it and see whatever it is. Well, that's that and one. this Four one is Word mm. Lace. 50 grams, mm. 459 mm. yards. 28% silk. Mm, that's nice. After I got home, I realized I should have gotten two of these. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I just knew. Never... <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, you could always use the other mohair with this, something else. Yeah. That's solid. That's yeah. cool. Those are my colors, Joy. I'm surprised. I know. She had a bunch of different colorways. And this was the one that called to me. Yeah. And Very then nice. um, I also got, I, we have a friend at Painted Spring Farm, alpacas. Her name is Beth, and she has alpaca yarn all the time. And we're not real alpaca people, so I usually don't buy from her. But this year, it was just calling oh. to me. She had, she, oh, my colors again. What's going on? <laughs> Are these your colors? The teal and the, oh, yeah. I love that combo. Uh, she just had her colors were just calling to me, even though I'm not an alpaca person. And I like to support her because she's mm -hmm. a lovely person and we've known her for a long time. So I broke down and bought some of her yarn. So this is Painted Spring Farm Alpacas. This is DK weight, 80% alpaca, 20% wool. It's 200 yards for 2.6 ounces. And then, yeah, like Janet said, it's like a a burnt orange sort of color it's and they're kind of a tealy tealy blue green wow i, I yeah. love the way alpaca feels but it itches me i yeah. love alpaca yeah. and we have a friend who's allergic to it yes. so actually you know her it's vicky who was on she the was podcast the last, yeah. last time she's allergic to alpaca so we have to be careful around her and then she had another one wait till you see this oh. <laughs> These, the you're these, changing. These are sure. my colors. I like these colors, but this next one is not my typical color. Wait till you see this. Wow! Look at this pink. It's beautiful. <laughs> so she this? told me this is the same thing. It's the same as oh, okay. this. It's so just it's DK also. Yes, DK mm -hmm. two hundred yards. Yep, it's the same yarn. Wow. But I, this pink just stood out on that wall. It's beautiful. It was like, woo. And I, I said, wow, look at this pink. And she said, she said, I just dyed that this week. She said the fleece was kind of a grayish. Mm. It wasn't a white fleece. 
So she said she put extra dye in the bath because mm. she wanted to make sure she covered it and mm. it actually came out more pink than she was it's hoping for. Does, so, does she have colors on here? No, just no, just numbers. 21 dash 08. 73 grams. Hmm. Yeah, 2.6 ounces is 73 grams. And so then I got a skein to go with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are you going to do with that? I have no idea. That's beautiful. So, Some kind of color work though, right? Uh, yeah, something. Mix it together. That looks beautiful. Yeah. I figure this will kind of tone this down. Right. Mm -hmm. And Really is, pretty. Although, I'm not really a pink person, but... But it looks good I on you. I just was really drawn to it. You need a pretty cowl. Yeah. And color work pattern. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got at Knitter's Day Out, and it was mm -hmm. a nice weekend. It was lower in attendance. I think she said there were about half as many people there as usually come. Of course, it's the first time after the pandemic, so... Mm -hmm. And... So there were fewer attendees, there were fewer vendors, which was partly by design because they wanted to still keep things spaced out. And there were fewer people in the classes. Mm -hmm. And even though my classes were small in terms of number, it, they all of them went really well. They were great classes. So, And a friend of ours, Jackie, she taught there as well. And it sounds like her class went well, too, and she's excited to go back again next year. Did she have a lot of people in her class? No, she only she had two. either? Oh. Yeah, she only had two in her class. Mm -hmm. And one of my classes was supposed to have three, only two showed up. And at the end of the class, the one lady was like, this was awesome. Oh. Thank you for the private lesson. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does work out better for people who attend. That's the truth. Yeah, yeah. And while we're on acquisitions, You have a birthday coming up, mm -hmm. so I have a little something for oh, you. No. Another surprise on camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tail of the snail. Well, one Ooh. of the things. One of them. Already, I could there. see. Oh wow, is that gorgeous? Where did I, was this from? This is, was this up at Makanji? No. Virtuous no, Yarn this, Company? This is the lady. I think she was there, though, at Makanji. Oh, this is beautiful. Merino silk cashmere. Whoa. Got in the USA fingering. 438 yards. This is stunning, Joy. Thank you. Established 2021. Oh, my gosh. That feels wonderful. Virtuous. Thank you so much. That's the lady up near State College oh. who designed the Maryland road trip. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. That's what it was. Yeah. Your video from when you went up there. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, this has to be something for the neck because it's so soft for sure. Yeah, a little cashmere in it. Mm. Wow, and I see a little... And this is and where the, bar is the bag soap. came from. Coconut lime verbena. Oh, I like that. Mmm. I like that. East Norriton. Yes. She's local. Really? She sells at the Pottstown Farmer's Market. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. It has, I don't know how much you could see, but it has paper on it. But anyway. Well, thank you so much. You're that's welcome. wonderful. Thank You're you. Welcome. Wow. This is special. Another. I have to find some kind of special pattern. We have stash. to. This is beautiful. I thought you would. Like I guess that. that color really spoke my name. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Joy. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. I bet Janet would like this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, it's nice and soft. Um, getting back to Knitter's Day Out, though, you, I wanted to ask you about the afghans that we made. Oh, mine didn't make it there because I gifted it before. But Joy, you took your afghan. Yes, I took so mine. What was the story with that? Now, Knitter's Day Out, I don't think you mentioned, I don't know, is it near Harrisburg at... Central Penn School. College. Yeah. yeah. And it's an all, well, it's a Friday night and a Saturday mm -hmm. event now mm -hmm. with all classes. And yep. the lunch, oh, I wanted to ask you about the lunch, too. The lunch used to be this wonderful, wonderful buffet that was prepared by the culinary arts students yep. there. Yeah. Oh, it was fabulous. And you could go outside and sit at tables and just join other people sit there and knit for a little bit. 
But this year I read that they were going to have boxed lunches because of COVID, I guess. They're yep. doing away with the buffet. Was that it? Yeah. Yeah. Because of COVID, they did box lunches. Okay. So it was, uh, you had a choice of, I think, two different sandwiches or a sandwich and a salad or just a big salad. Hmm. And then, so I got a salad with, quote, Southwest chicken sliced on top of it. Mm. And what else? And they had... Um, Their desserts were wrapped, always fabulous. Well, they had wrapped cookies. Mm -hmm. So it was a choice of three different cookies, and they were huge. They were like this big around. And you got like a bag of chips mm -hmm. and a bottled drink. Mm -hmm. So, awesome. I mean, it was enough food. I didn't even oh, finish sure. my salad. And I saved my chips and my cookie for later. later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was plenty of food and it was fine. And it was the day that, was it uh, Ian? Oh, Hurricane yes, yes, Ian yes, yes. Came, yes. Hit, came up the coast and started raining Friday night. I right. got there on Friday afternoon and it was still dry. And then when I left to go to the hotel after my class Friday night, it was just starting to rain. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, it was pouring all day long, so we couldn't eat outside. Oh, oh, that's right. So we were oh. all in the in the cafeteria, cafeteria yeah. part, mm -hmm. and so it was crowded. So I, by the time I got through the line, there were not that very many seats left. So I walked up to a, a high top table that had two chairs, and there was only one person sitting there. So I said, may I sit here? And I sat down. And, the two of us started chit-chatting, and it turns out that she's from Wayne. Okay. Not too far from right. us, where we live, mm -hmm. and she teaches at Pearls of Wisdom, which is one of our local yarn shops that we go to. So we were chit-chatting the whole, like, for a solid half hour while she was, you know, we were both eating, and she was volunteer. Oh, she knew... The reason she came was she knew Jackie, our friend who oh, taught yeah. this year, mm -hmm. oh. also teaches at Pearls of Wisdom. And Jackie told Mariah, this other lady, about Knitter's Day Out. And she said she tried to sign up to teach this year, but she must have submitted too late, maybe, or something. So she wasn't able to teach, so instead she volunteered for the day. And they had her wind at the winding yarn table. Oh, and she said next year she wants to go back and, and try and teach Oh, that's year. good. They need teachers. Yeah. That's good. So it was fun to need, like just randomly walk yeah. into somebody mm -hmm. who I almost knew mm -hmm. <laughs> and who's local to me. Because being from central Pennsylvania, people come from all over. There's Pittsburgh people. There's people from Virginia. Mm -hmm. Maryland. So, they're from all over. Yeah. Um, so it was fun. Yeah. Good. And how about the Afghan? Oh, right. The Afghan. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take any pictures of them? Or? Yes. I'll, okay. I'll put it in the video. Okay. At the good. End of, okay. At the, at we haven't, the we haven't talked about this yet, so yeah. <laughs> we're catching up. <laughs> so the Afghan display was disappointing. <gasps> I think there were four. Oh, that's all. Yeah, I think there were oh. four. One was um, like a multicolor Afghan, and one was two colors and then mine was like basically one color I forget was there a fourth one I forget but you'll see it at the end of the video and then one person just brought some squares so oh. they had like a poster board and they just tacked the squares to the board so it was oh. it was disappointing they probably won't do that again no I don't <laughs> think so <laughs> that was a lot of work for the people Contributing it the was. square designs. Yeah, it was. So. Oh well. But that's okay. Bad. Yeah. You live and learn. You do stuff. Hmm. I'm really surprised about that though. That year that we did the was it the cowl? We did the cowl. There were like 30 of us in the picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah. the Afghan was too much of a commitment. It, well, it was a year. huge commitment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the reason they that's did it was it. to establish community throughout the year since they didn't have it last year. Right. But, and it was interesting. Uh, most of the people in my classes didn't even know that they did the videos the year before. Mm. I said, oh, 
you know, the Interstate Out has a YouTube channel and you could go watch their videos. And they right. were all like, really? They didn't even know about um, it. Yeah, I guess they, they really don't put out a lot of information. Well, they I feel I like know. they do, but you have to like read it yeah or pay attention they don't to send it. you emails they don't you know there's it's not a not lot of communication mm -hmm. right well it's not like a weekly or right. even a monthly newsletter yeah hmm. but it, i mean it's a once a year event so i guess they feel like they don't really right. need to well i hope they continue it it sounds like there's basically a new committee oh so they rebranded i don't know if you noticed but the logo on the website is different this year and they were giving away all of the old tchotchkes with the old oh, logos the, on them. Oh, okay. So they had a basket full of leftovers that they were just giving away. Oh, okay. And then I didn't bring them with me, but... I was um, going to say, do you have something with new no, logo? I, I didn't see that. Uh, they always so, give you one little... Mm -hmm. What did they give you this year? Yeah. Uh, I think it was another... No. I was going to say it's, it was another needle gauge... Holder, mm -hmm. but that was the old one with the old logo. Yeah, I have that. Um, there was a, a little stitch marker. Okay. And something else, which I'm not remembering. But yeah, they gave us a little okay. tchotchke. With, they give you. They usually give you something uh, nice. with the new logo on it. Oh, I think it might have been one of those little cases with the sticky notes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to show something <gasps> that's almost yes. finished. All almost right. finished. Yeah, show us. I wanted to have it finished for today. And I didn't make it. Too much going on. I'm about to finish my Persetti's cardigan, Ooh. which <laughs> I spoke about how many times? It's been a year by in Heidi the making. Kiermeyer. <laughs> and this is my wonderful rhyme, yarn that I bought at Rhinebeck. Was it last year or two years? It must have been two. Maybe two years. Because I think ago. you were making it to wear last year. No, I didn't no? start it then. No? Mm -mm. Oh. I don't know. Anyway. No, I probably I did probably did buy it two years ago or whatever. Or before, I don't know. Anyway, it is made out of. Fortunately, I wanted to have it blocked and everything. It's made out of nightshades by Harrisville Designs. I don't know if anybody could, if you could even see. And the colorway is what is it? Fiber? No, Fever Dream hard to tell but it's the black with the red going through it mm -hmm. joy made this the black with the purple mm -hmm. going through it last year yep. um you all i have yours left two, two years ago because you didn't buy it the same year no i, I bought it before you did i remember that because you said you were going to go back and get get that so i have the second sleeve up to this point almost done almost i actually have 24 more rows of this pattern and then the two and a quarter inch cuff i'm making and it's done. I'm going to block it. I'll finish it today. Block it tomorrow. It'll be dried to take to Rhinebeck. And I'm going to wear it Saturday at Rhinebeck. Now, will you put buttons on this? or does No, it, it doesn't. Have... You don't have to put buttons okay. on it. It's just all ribbed. Yep. It's Open hard to tell it. because it's all. Yeah. Next podcast, it'll be all blocked. And I'll wear it. So you can see it better. But I'm so excited. Yeah. I put this in timeout for months. Because <laughs> months. I just couldn't knit on this wool. I couldn't. It was too... I started in the winter. Yeah, it was I like I started like February. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. I can look it up. But anyway, it's almost done. I'm so excited. Yay! My nightshade sweater. Well, I started my new afghan. <laughs> oh, you did. Oh, my gosh. You certainly did. So I have the first three squares here. This is square one. And this is square two. Two and That's pretty. this is square three. Mm -hmm. So you're just are you selecting the patterns or are you following up? Well, so far, what I'm working on is called Nora's Vintage Afghan, oh, okay, which is a free pattern from Barocco and it's by Nora Gon. And I am using yarn that Janet gifted me because I used up almost all my worsted weight stash. And she had a bunch of this, char this um, dark brown, beautiful, mm -hmm. luscious dark brown 
eco wool, cascade eco wool. So I'm using this for my my next afghan. It looks really and nice. my squares are a little bit bigger. The ones for knitters mm -hmm. day out were 12 by 12. These are like 13 and a half by 13 and a half approximately. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could stretch them to 14. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Probably. So it's it's going to be a little bit bigger and this pattern has 20 blocks. Mm -hmm. So it's a five by four square afghan. Oh, that's and nice. Interestingly, she puts them together instead of stacked. She puts them so one is up and one is sideways. And oh. they, they alternate. So one up, one sideways, one up, one sideways. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the way she puts it together. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if that affects like the, stru the structure of it, you know, to give it a little bit more stability maybe. I don't know. But anyway, I think I will do the same and, and put it, you know, one sideways and one up and see how it comes out. So you have to make sure they all come out in perfect square. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I think of. <laughs> I know, which this one did not. My very yeah, that first one looks one, a little bit it's yeah. short. And I didn't realize that until I blocked it. Another thing, <laughs> this one. I finished it, I blocked it. I took a picture and then after I was looking at my picture on Ravelry, I realized there's a Miss Cross cable in here. You can't see it, can you? Mm -mm. I'd have to really look closely. <laughs> but when I look at the picture on Ravelry, it stands out like a sore thumb. I don't yeah. see it. I don't. I don't think. Oh, any, here. Yeah, there you go. I I see it. <laughs> I don't think any anybody will. No, notice. you really have to. <laughs> really have to look, search for it. So. I, I started Very this nice. because I'm sort of in between projects at the moment and I had some time. So I'm like, well, let me get started on this. And now I'll do, my goal is to do one square a month. And then if I have extra time, like I did this month, I'll do a, maybe an extra square. Because mm -hmm. if I do do an extra square here and there, then maybe I'll finish it in a year. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Because I do want it to be bigger. The, I, I'm... I'm I think I want the five That's by nice. four. It knits up nice. Yes. Oh, and when I put this in the water to block it, mm -hmm. what did it do? It came out like sort of a yellow brownish. Really? Like a like a bright, not bright, but there was a lot of color in the water. Really? And it was yellow brownish I'm color. I'm surprised. Yeah. I know, right? Because this is just so it must be whatever. I mean, it's eco wool, so. Maybe, I don't know how well they wash it when they hmm. spin. I never used eco wool, so I don't know. I've had that in my stash for so long. When Trish was um, selling out of it at the yarn gallery, it was in the clearance area, and I bought up a whole pile of it. <laughs> and Joy got it all. <laughs> because I've decided it's too heavy, yeah. too rustic for me to make a sweater or anything, yeah. and I wouldn't make an afghan. Because anybody I gift it, gift an afghan to, it has to be washable. Yeah. Machine washable. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just looked back while you were talking. I uh, started in February this year. February this year, I started the Persetti. Oh, okay. So it hasn't been a whole year. No. It's only been. No. Eight months. I started when it was cold and put it down when it was hot. Mm. Yeah. So, and then the nice. only other thing I have going on is that since I finished my blue shade Sakata socks, I started a new pair. Oh. Um, I have one done, and I'm still working on the second. Mm. So this is... That's neat, the way that patterned. Wow. This is yarn that Janet gave me from her stash, and I'm going to give these to my daughter, Amy. I love the way the foot came out with the pooling. Do you like that or not? I, I, I think it's really I, neat. Yeah, I don't, I don't. The way the cuff is different from I'm the foot. I'm ambivalent about it. And the heel is striped. That's really cute. Yeah, I did short row heels because I wanted to not interrupt the striping as right. much as possible. Oh, I like I like them. So yeah, it's fun. And I think she'll like this color. 
Mm-hmm. She's into that I, I, yeah, antique she, mm-hmm. pinkish mm-hmm. whatever. So and the burgundy and the green. Yeah. So I've one done and I'm working on the really second nice. one. I started a pair of socks because you know we always have socks on the needles. And this is interesting yarn. This is Regia Arn and Carlos design line. I'll show you this first. And it's 75% superwash and 25% polyamide. Is it really superwash? Yeah, it is. I like their labels. I don't know. I didn't notice this on the other ones. They say Regia is dimensionally stable, hard wearing, machine washable up to 40 degrees centigrade, no felting, and dryer proof. Usually they don't give you such detail. Yeah, yeah. It's 100 grams, 420 meters. 455 yards. It's virgin wool. It's not, that's what I, that's what I wanted to check. It's not superwash. 75% virgin wool and it's 25% polyamide. So this is the way it works up. Design. I really like it. It's fun to do. It's yeah. a two by two leg nice. and then I'm working on my gussets four needles, my four DPNs, and the heel turned out to be all that the orangey, peachy, melony yeah. color. That's nice. So I like how that works I out. like, yeah. yeah, I really like Are this you going to try stripes. and match the second sock? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I usually do. Yeah. I, but this I is definitely more too. rustic. We were, yeah. Joey and I were talking about this is an the difference yarn. we're so used to. No, I think I just bought this. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this is a recent one. Oh, okay. Um, What's the colorway? Yes, I got our conversational threads. I could tell the, I don't know, the number. Oh, I'm sure they named their colorways. This just says color yeah, 03657. Say. Yeah, this one's fairly new. Um, we were just talking about how well, I started, when I started knitting socks, I don't know, was it 20 years ago maybe now? It was always this type of yarn. Yeah. I always bought the Reggie or the Opal mm-hmm. or um, that German name, which I can't think of right now. Schockenmeyer? Yeah, yeah Schockenmeyer. Um, so I always started with this yarn, and it's definitely more rustic. And now we've gone to the Superwash. The Indie Dye. Hand, uh, indie Dye yeah. with different colors, and there's such a difference in the way it feels. Well, and there's a big difference in the price as well. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, these are super wash and these are still the wool. But I still like these. Yeah. I always thought they were fun to knit because the patterning mm-hmm. and the Arn and Carlos are so cute. Yeah. And this is like an, a muted color for Arn and yes. Carlos. Yes, yes. <laughs> They're usually like... <laughs> They're a little bit too bright for me. So I think when I saw this one, I, I picked it up. Mm-hmm. My yeah, the coral in there is really yeah, nice. Yeah, these are my colors. This is so pretty. So, that's what I have. My socks on the needle for the month. Great. I've been averaging a pair of socks a month, so. And so you else? will have to give us a report on Rhinebeck. Yes, I will. When you get back. Try to take some pictures. I'm bumming I can't go this year, but. Some video. Yeah, you have family And the weather commitment. looks like it's going to be really nice. Yeah. This year. This is Car- I'm going with my friend Caroline, who's never been there before. And she's really looking forward to it. She actually, I think she's going to have her sweater finished, her anchor sweater. Oh. It's the first sweater. Take well, a no, second sweater Take she ever picture. made. Yeah. I will, for sure. She's on the sleeve, too. I talked to her yesterday, and she's on her sleeve, finishing that up. And she wants to start a pair of socks while we're there. She wants me to get her started on socks because she finished, I think, a pair five years ago. And it took her about five years to make the first pair. Because, because she lives three hours away from me, I would only, when we got together, I would help her on the next step. So it takes a while. <laughs> she doesn't have any knitting friends up there, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. And you know, the leaves are just starting to turn. I bet it'll be beautiful there next week. Yeah, Caroline, Caroline lives in Binghamton, New York. And she said, everything is just starting. To, everything just turned. She said, it's beautiful. Mm. I'm hoping. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> It'll be a nice drive. It will be. I think we're finished. We're done. Yep. Yeah. Everybody have fun. Happy knitting for fall. Knit some fall colors. I have to find something for this. 
And wow. hopefully everyone that lost their mojo over the summer will get it back. Yeah. A couple of my podcasts spoke about that, too. You listen no, to them. it wasn't just so you. Mine is back. Yeah. Next. Oh, next. That's right. Next. I um, As soon as I finish this Persetti's, I'm getting back to the Parks and Rec mm. sweater. That's my mohair and fingering weight sweater. Nice. The green one. So, that's exciting. And then I want to start another one. I have quite a few in line. I think I'm going to cast, I'm going to be different this time. I'm going to cast on a couple uh -huh. sweaters at the yeah. same time so I could go back and forth mm -hmm. between the two. One's going to be an easy knitting and the other one's going to be a little bit more involved. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. And I'm all gone come now for it. <laughs> okay. Everybody take care. Yeah. Stay safe. Enjoy this beautiful weather wherever you are. Yeah. And yep. get your knitting mojo going. That's right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.